welcome in this video you're going to learn how you can score high marks for objective based literature exams aspirants don't know how to write objective based exams the problem is that we have been studying to write exams in descriptive format ever since we joined school so even at college level we only know how to study and prepare for exams that are descriptive when suddenly when you have to write exams in the objective format most students don't know what to do so there are nine reasons for the failure and six remedy for overcoming that failure what are the nine reasons for people fail these are the nine reasons why people fail first thing students only have their level of knowledge on up to level that is they don't know anything beyond syllabus they haven't studied you must study more than your syllabus because only then you will be able to crack these exams the second problem is that literature is so vast and students don't know where to start and how to study literature is certainly vast that is one of the challenges but at the same time you need to understand that in literature there are certain areas and from certain writers the questions are asked so if you go through the previous question papers you will get a clear cut understanding where to focus and what to study third thing time is biggest enemy today we don't have time how can you overcome this you have to understand that everyone has got 24 hours in a day you have to manage your time dear lawrence in one of his books says if you don't have time make time how can you make time that is you must focus on what are the areas in which i waste my time for example mobile browsing chatting talking too much spending time on social media if you can delete all those you will obviously get more time to study so prioritize and study fourth thing is that lack of memory memory is one of the biggest challenges that we face but at the same time repetition is the mother of mastery you have to repeat twice thrice only then you the thing will stick into your memory and as they say sachin he practices the shots for 10000 times that is how he becomes a master that is why his style is so beautiful so though we cannot able to practice 10000 times at least we must revise two or three times for the memory to come in and the fifth one is lack of quality materials we live in a world where we have a lot of information we are loaded with information but such too much information is a curse we only need the right ones for example if you want to reach from bombay to pune you need not study the entire map you use google maps that is you look at the shortest path to reach similarly when you approach an exam instead of studying the entire map you must focus on how you can reach your destination in less time in an efficient manner and the next one is lack of practice actually when you are attempting an objective based exams so you need to practice you just don't go to the examination hall and do it for the first time so practice what are the areas you need to practice literature your strategy and even circling so do that or if it is a computer based exam take practice test before you go to the exams don't do an extrembury inside the examination hall lack of confidence the only thing is that don't compare yourself with others you are unique and if you are watching this and if you are studying certainly there is a fire in you. you so don't compare yourself do your best at the end of the day you shouldn't feel bad that i didn't try so do your best you will succeed next thing is that not fluent in english you not know, clear uh, an objective based exam you need not have to be fluent in english so fluency you can improve leave that one later not now finally lack of community support actually it is always good to have a team while studying actually you must have an accountability partner you must support each other this is a very good trick so if you can find someone who is writing the same exam who you can trust have or him as an accountability partner push each other then you can certainly achieve it now we move on to the remedy part and losers both have a plan and a goal but winners have a system so, so by system i mean that uh, select a particular time to study study in a particular area organize your desk properly 
organize your mind and be focused have a goal card so ultimately having a system will definitely help you second one try to focus on the most important thing for example if you're studying a paper like literature you cannot st study everything that is only happens in utopia so you have to focus on the important things i call this as a wn method you have to go wide deep and narrow by wide means if you have got a particular syllabus what you have to do is you have to study the you must know something of everything the entire thing wide even if it is five things about a work do that first go wide then select the most important works and go deep and narrow don't study a work thoroughly then move on to the name that is a recipe for failure because by that way you will never ever able to complete the syllabus so have an understanding first spend some 10 or 15 days to a complete understanding then select the important ones then go dig deep and build and follow the 80 20 principle actually richard koch has written a wonderful book uh, i need I, uh, if you can follow google it and learn what is the 80 20 principle he says that 20 percent of effort can score 80 percent of marks and it is true if you know the concept if you study the concept well and implement it and finally spend some time on meditation and prayer this is very important declutter your mind and the last but not least have a larger purpose in life don't study to get a job for you rather think that if i get a job how many students can i help how many lives can i change so if you think in the larger context and if you do it for somebody you love you will certainly do it so don't do it for yourself do it for someone who love do it to change the life of 100 or 1000 students then believe me you will reach there thank you very much for watching i'll see you in another video until then bye bye